Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best portable headphone amps. Starting at number 5. Hydize's AP80 Pro. AP80? This diminutive DAP packs lots of high resolution goodness for your music, such as extensive support for audiophile grade codecs like MQA 8X, LDAC, and apts. It even has DSD support but is limited to 256, which is to be expected given the size. The internals are solid, too, and while they saved a little on the Inganik chipset, it doesn't seem to impact the performance, even when scrubbing through large music libraries on the external micro SD slot. The really good thing is that the budget was allocated to give us dual saber DACs and lots of power from the amp section. From the 3.5mm jack, the sound is nothing to write home about, in fact, it was almost indistinguishable from my Sony Xperia headphone jack, but when I hooked my hard-to-drive impedance Bayer Dynamic headphones, I couldn't believe how much power it was putting, are and thus driving them to their potential. The battery life again took a hit as I got 6 hours balanced from a single charge, but recharge times were fast. Coming at number 4. FIIO M11S High. The FIO M11S is a beast of a digital audio player, DAP, for its price and gives many of the features of the more expensive models without cutting out the important stuff. It has one of the best battery lives on test, and that's even with the size being manageable by actually being pocketable. It uses the powerful Snapdragon 660 chipset with Android 10 that FIO's engineers have tuned, and it's very smooth and stable. I like that they have given me multiple balanced options, as I can switch between my full-size cans and IEMs without using a dongle, and the power it produces is immense. I never felt like the power was lacking. The sound is very transparent, almost to the point of being dry, so I suggest using them with some cans that have a little warmth to them. Overall I think the best thing I can say about the M11S is that it is a very well-polished product. It does a lot right and very little wrong which is probably why you don't ever hear criticism of this player from its owners. At number 3. FIIO M11 Plus. For a long time, FIO has been in control of the cheap DAP market, but in recent years, they expanded their line and are considered one of the best music player and amp manufacturers on the planet. The M11 Plus is the company's latest mid-priced offering, and it's probably their best price to performance. The M11 Plus supports various high-resolution audio formats such as DSD, DSF, DFF, PCM, APE, FLAC, WAVE, AIFF, ALAC, WMA, PCM, MP3, OGG, ACC. This music player packs a heavy punch for its size and price and competes with many of AK's entry-level models on sound. The interface is less refined, but it's still a hell of a bargain. Just look at this spec list. Number 2 of my list. FIIO M17. Although I use the iVaso DX320 daily as my MP3 player of choice, if I were to switch to another, it would be the FIIO M17. For me, the sound quality is so good on both. Everything else comes down to personal preference, I have always been an iVaso user, so I stick with them. In a practical sense, both are elite and, in my opinion, the two best DAPs you can buy in 2024. What impresses me most about the M17 is how FIO managed to cram so much desktop componentry into such a small package. The ES9038 Pro DAC is found on full-size desktops and hi-fi components, but the house, in collab with THX, AMP also packs a punch. Codec support is all there, including MQA8 and DSD512, which we like to see as many audiophiles will pair integrate this player into their full hi-fi system. Now, the issue here is this a DAP, well, yes, of course, but if I had one, I would see myself using it more as a transportable solution, taking advantage of its power system. While the componentry is good, it's not as portable as the DX320. And number 1. Ibasso DX320. As I mentioned above, the Abasso DX320 is my high residential music player of choice these days, and it replaced my already excellent DX300. 
It strikes a nice balance of features and price, especially when compared to more pricey options from Estelle and Kern that don't necessarily sound much better. This unit sounds ridiculously good and delivers on both the power and transparency fronts, which are important when pairing it with capable hi-fi equipment and headphones. Whatever IEM or headphones I throw at it, the DX320 never seems to lack power, and that is very important to me as someone who reviews a wide variety of hard-to-drive gear. Speaking of reviewing and testing, that means I switch headphones a lot. I am less reliant on carrying external adapters because it includes three jack connectors, 2.5mm and 4.4mm balanced and standard 3.5mm. I also love the big screen and smoothness of the Android operating system. I have never had it crash or lag on me, the Snapdragon 660 chipset, while not the flagship, is ridiculously overpowered for such a device, even when sifting through a micro SD card filled with 500 gigabytes of music, it's rock solid. RAM is a healthy 6 gigabytes, and internal storage is an admittedly small 128 gigabytes. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.